I am a non-energy type, in case you're new here. I'm a non-energy type. What does that mean? It means that I'm fueled, because I'm a projector, by recognition, which is mutual recognition, and formal invitation. So over the years, I've gotten clearer and clearer on some things, and maybe not so much on others. They're still in process, still in work. But what I found was that there were a lot of recommendations or um, askings, requests for more of these transit reports. And the way that I did it before was I was really burning myself out. I tried to do so much, the whole chart, if I had the time and energy. And rather than doing that, as I did a few years ago, neutrino news you can use, if you recall, what I'd like to do this upcoming year is in order to maintain some continuity in context with you, my students, and whoever is learning human design alongside what, with us, I would like to continue these transit reports, but I can't do it without your help. If you could please be so generous as to give this a thumbs up or a like or a share if it's right for you to do so, particularly on the YouTube channel, because that's where I'm going to be focusing my energy and effort. It would be so nice because the more people that we have engaged with the knowledge from directly from Ra Uruhu, and the more we have an asking, so here's my ask to you, if you could please put your particular experience with this gate and this line, especially if it's yours, so that we can hear from people who have this as part of their process, what's it like for you? This is my mental focus. It's part of the way that I find the clarity of guiding the others. Being an advisor who can guide is what a projector is here to do. And I can't do it without you because the way that I've learned over the last 10 years in my practice is taking stuff from Ra, applying it or implementing it. I have a gate uh, 21, line three, so the trial and error business, and then also asking the question. That's my moon, 61.3. Ask the question, what's it like for you? So rather than having you have to come into a live class, a lot of students over the years have been with me, and maybe there's no live class for you to continually engage with me anymore. I experimented with this for a while, allowing you into my private classes to silent audit, but that didn't solve the problem of I still want to connect with my students, especially over the past decade, who have studied, who are experiencing and experimenting the value that human design brings. So this is my ask of you. If you could help me so kindly and generously recommend the channel to your family, friends, whoever it is that's also studying human design, if it's interesting and engaging. This particular transit might be a little bit too much for them, but you know we have all kinds of information on the YouTube channel and I would be very grateful for your support.